Hey everyone, XYZ Architect is back again. Today we'll share some expert tips and tricks to take your Calypso programming to the next level. Buckle up and get ready to write clear, more efficient programs that save your time. Ever feel frustrated by confusing or default Calypso feature names? It's not just you. Unclear terminologies creates roadblocks, slows projects and can even make you look unprofessional. But fear not, here's a simple yet powerful tip that can transform your workflow. Master the art of clear feature and characteristic naming. Now, why does feature and characteristic naming matter? Imagine a world where everyone understands what each feature and characteristic means. No more depending on cryptic names or spending time guessing what goes where. Clear naming helps with enhanced transparency. Clients and suppliers can easily grasp project details because the characteristic names speak for themselves linking with the number mapping from the technical drawing. Effortless collaboration. Your teammates know exactly what you're talking about because your feature link with your characteristic numbers, leading to seamless communication and efficient workflows. Professional polish. Clear naming portrays a polished image and reflects a well-organized team. Now, Calypso has a hidden gem waiting to be unleashed, the default naming file. This customizable resource lets you define clear and consistent terminology for all your features and characteristics. And let's see now how to access it. So, navigate to Extra, Settings, Environment, and now go to Default Name. Now select the txt file, you can also grab it, edit it and set your own namings as you desire. This is what I did. Now activate name allocation, apply, ok and you can now see exactly what I am talking about. So let's extract the plane, notice that now it's called pln1 from plane 1 now let's extract another one pln2 yeah okay now let's extract a circle cir1 circle 1 point pnt1 this is just uh, examples for you to understand how it works you can go and edit the file and name it as you please. If you have a convention, then you can use that convention, do whatever you please with it. But know that the TXT file is there to help you. And it even works on characteristics, right? So notice that now by default, it's called distance one, distance one, because I let the default naming from German on the characteristics. So by investing a little time in clear naming, you'll reap the benefits for years to come. You can even share the TXT file so you can use it with your colleagues exactly the same. And I think it's a pretty, pretty cool tip to benefit from. Moving to the next tip that will definitely help you work much faster because it will automatically generate a measurement strategy of your choosing. With the variable strategy assignment, you can generate measurement strategies on the go. No need to define a strategy up front. Create it as you go. Focus on features not set up. Spend less time configuring strategies and more time programming your features. Effortless strategy assignment. Simply select the predefined strategy and assign it to your features when needed. So this amazing tool will help you create measurement programs from start to finish without having the care of a strategy until you reach the end of the program or 
do it as you go. Just select your desired variable strategy and assign it to your features. Make sure you understand how the variable strategy assignment works. For example, if you create features but you do not bind them to a characteristic, the message from the variable strategy assignment will be that the recipe was not found. While the variable strategy assignment works wonders with the predefined Calypso cookbook strategies, you can also create custom strategies for specific needs. And to do this, let's visit this video. Go to settings, go to variable strategy editor and now create your own strategy from file new. I already did this and as you can see I have uh, different strategies here so for example a diameter that is from 81 to 250 millimeters I have a strategy uh, I have another strategy for this one and let's check it out so the strategy is single points seven single points with uh, the percentage of 20 to 80 percent of the height of the cylinder and notice that now I'm going to apply this strategy okay so my strategy and apply it to this one notice that it's exactly between those uh, criteria that I selected okay override I override the size strategy and now I have the seven points right here so again for this tip yes it will take you a lot of time to configure for bringing each element and for taking as long time as you need but believe me the initial setup time will be well worth your long-term efficiency boost you can use this very very well with the other tip and uh, only with these two tips you will increase your time spent to create the measurement programs so now let's move to tip number three and i want to ask you a question do you ever feel overwhelmed by constant clicking in calypso you know that each and every one of us has a problem with this because you have to go and click there click there click there click there so i'm here to say that there's a better way and you can unleash the power of keyboard shortcuts in calypso so calypso allows you to customize shortcuts for every function okay every function it doesn't matter what it is imagine creating feature constructing elements assigning characteristics and even changing settings all with a quick keystroke so let's see how to do this go to resources function call and now numbers and shortcuts definition you have to go there you also have a predefined ones by calypso but if you want to define yourself you can go and do it as you please so create clear list then you just uh, do as the instruction from here down here says okay so select select the function via the pull, pull down menu from calypso user desk so from here then select whatever function you want to set with the shortcut key from the keyboard so let's go now and select the function okay so circle so i want to make a circle and very simple alt c notice right here the um, shortcuts from the from my keyboard and again let's select uh, another one but this time for a characteristic for example let's select the cartesian distance with alt shift c okay so the cartesian distance for uh, the shortcut for the cartesian distance i selected that as a capital c okay now let's save it as my 
shortcuts okay close save it again close okay and let's see alt c creates a circle alt shift c creates the cartesian distance so it was that simple again another powerful tip from calypso and now let's move to the last tip so say goodbye to time-consuming probing repositioning. Calypso's sub function offers two powerful ways to optimize prob movement between features, all without leaving the clearance cube. First is the retraction in the direction of the element. This is perfect for dynamic movement and complex geometries. Upon touching an element, the last point becomes the joining element. The probe automatically retracts toward the clearance data of the next element and I have to give you a heads up for this one because running programs in a different order than intention could lead to collisions so be very very careful when you work with this function okay but there is another way the retraction to the inner plane this specifies an exact value for retraction ensuring precise precise movement okay and remember that this method is tied to the base alignment and cannot be adjusted for secondary alignments unfortunately so maybe in the future calypso will give us that possibility in the next variant of calypso but for now Unfortunately, we cannot use the sub clearance for other alignments to move in other alignments, just the base alignment. Okay, so now let's see how to access it. Okay, go to extras. No, 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 sorry, to plane, navigation, then sub clearance. And okay, let's leave it like this. Okay, let's extract some points okay so now this is going to run in uh, the direction of x plus okay so let's see it how it goes so this is the normal way of working until now it goes outside of the clearance cube and goes and touches all the points and this is going to touch for the subclearance plane from y okay so notice that it goes from point to point it reaches out it retracts from the point with a retract value and then it goes to the other points okay now i have made a point on the lateral side so you can notice that when you want to work with the subclearance uh without the retraction plane you are going to have a collision unfortunately so let's see okay so it goes and touches this point and now it goes through the part to touch this one this is what i meant when i said that you will have collision if you will run the program in a different order than it was intended okay now let's select again the clearance cube and let's set a retract inner plane value okay so the inner plane value for this one is minus 30 millimeters it's right here and let's run again the point and you can see it goes first and touches this point it retracts to the inner plane and then touches this one so you also have this option available that i think it's pretty pretty nice there are still features worth mentioning that i did not include in this list because their functionality is limited by different machine configuration or by other people that we as cmm programmers work with and these features are Automatic stylus assignment. This function works better with vast XT measuring head. 
It works with Vast X60, but I have encountered errors sometimes. Warning limits in percentage. You can activate this function by going to resources, report, warning limit in percentage. I usually go with 80% and the result will be shown in yellow if they are above this limit. Some departments might disagree with this kind of limit, but I do think it can help you and others be more efficient when it comes to almost getting out of specification. Report header parameters and the fourth input at start. Access this feature from multiple report. Select report header parameters. You can set the default header text or you can define your own. After this, you can even force it at start from resources, report header parameters and check the box where it says force input at start. This feature helps you have clarity and transparency on your reports. And the last but not least, PMI or product manufacturing information. It's basically the whole technical drawing transposed to a CAD model and help us define datums, features and characteristics easily. I did not include this in the list because it's an object procured by the design department and most of the time is not done. Not too much companies work with this feature. So this was the efficient tips and hacks from Calypso in order to make faster and cleaner measurement programs guys. Please share the information in order for it to reach as much CMM programmers as possible. Smash that like button if you like this video and my content and if you think this video helped you a lot, use the super thanks button to show your appreciation. Until next time, learn as much as you can.